Oh boy. Guess y'all give me a second, man. Damn it, man. Man, I don't know what the heck is going on. <laughs> I just see, was it last time we, we used OBS and we was having a lot of issues. And now we're going back to the traditional style. And and all of a sudden we had a perfect screen and it just it just just stopped. Freaking YouTube, man. <laughs> Google. <laughs> oh yeah, well, Google, whoever. Google, maybe they uh they just started up their stream service. They, <laughs> maybe. Because they didn't they didn't they send out betas or they're gonna do a beta or something? Gosh, I don't know, man. They're gonna run like I think Assassin's Creed Odyssey or something. Um <laughs> they're gonna select a certain amount of people to mm -hmm. uh, they test it out on, on Google Chrome. What's up, lazy uh, geek gamer? <clears throat> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> oh, that's that. Is that the May song? That May <laughs> Yeah, he had a welcome back song, and he disappeared after that. He disappeared right after that. <laughs> what? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, heck, he, he wanted to get away from Diddy, so he tricked him into <laughs> signing his release. <laughs> this is this YouTuber who uh, I can't remember who it was, who had a. Uh, I think it was like a 2,000 subscriber um, thank you video or something. Mm -hmm. He was, and he didn't make another video after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was his last video. How are you going to thank people and then disappear? I was like, what are you doing? Oh, boy, yeah, that's talking about a middle finger. <laughs> thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Come on, let's get those people back here, man. What were we talking about a while ago before this thing just, just, just I think just it's still, I think it's still on the cross play. I know, but uh T you you were uh, I was, going, I was on. going in on a point and now I can't remember. Oh uh, man. Oh, that's something you probably can discuss real quick. You know, that Sony that you know they canceled their conference. Fuck oh yeah, conference. Yes, that's, oh really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, they yeah, they canceled it. They ain't got nothing to show, man. They got nothing to show. Yeah, because Microsoft has theirs coming up in Mexico City, the XO. Mm. But when's that video game rewards? I know it's coming up pretty soon. Is it? Is it November December. or December? I think it's December. It's in December, yeah. Hmm. Hey, man. Oh, the holidays are approach. I, I can't believe we already in October. Jesus. I know. The leaves are falling off the trees. Well, if you're uh -huh. in the uh, it's still hot here. <laughs> ain't no, ain't nothing going after. Yeah. Really. What you think? Where you at? I'm in Kentucky. It's still Kentucky, hot. huh? Yeah, it's been like in, been in the 80s. Yeah. So, it was 90 yeah, today. My car, man, it's like inside my car was like over 100. Uh, yeah, it was 90 degrees today in, in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. It's been like in the 50s all week here. Damn, yeah. where you live at again? Massachusetts. Oh, oh hell no. Austin. <laughs> Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Yeah. I don't know no black folks stay in Massachusetts. Yeah, you, you, you ain't never been to Boston, man. <laughs> no, no, oh, dude, no. I heard it's very racist over there. I yeah, heard the, it's, the black neighborhood. I heard it's bad over there, dude. You better watch yourself. You can be. You better watch yourself. Bro. I don't live in Boston. I live on. I live on. Uh, you still live in You still in Massachusetts, though. I live in Western. <laughs> you I live in Western Mass. See, I heard it was very racist out there before Trump got elected. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you well, better watch yourself. Boston man. has a history. It, it, it has a very <laughs> race, racial history. Yeah, because the time yeah. I lived, of course, I lived in Fort Devens, where you know my dad was posted at. But yeah, like I see Roxbury in the news almost every night. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a racist history in Texas. Yeah, I remember that Jasper, Texas situation back in nineteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. heard. Oh, that was a oh my god, that stuff yeah, right there. Racism is everywhere, man. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, you can't get rid of it, man. Yeah. You can't. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's worse than ever now, but I, I, don't, think it, I don't think it's worse than ever. I it's just been think exposed. We yeah, it's been exposed and people see it more than that's, they that's what it is. It's exposed. Social media, yeah, social Thank media, you. right? That's blowing it up, blowing mm -hmm. it up. I don't think it's worse. I think in some ways it's better, but the fact that everything that happens is right there in your face all the time now. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, you know, you can beat a brother up. You know, you know, nobody know nothing about it. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> cop, you, know, you, you can rough us up and, uh, as a cop and nobody even know about it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like the latest stuff I heard, like, you know, this this car, you know, she falsified a report that, you know, a black man shot her, and, you know, but the thing is, you know, they, you know, her lied and got her caught. Got yeah, caught, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, she I heard, um, there were some people on, uh, after the Black Panther premiere, talking about they got beat up in Black oh, Panther. Oh, I remember that. Remember that? <laughs> well, they were trying their best to to try to get people not to see that. Not watch that movie. Yeah, it was like that's crazy. Yeah, and then of course uh, the whole Botham Jean thing, and of course he now he, just, he got Man, funeralized. Don't get me started on that dude. Like this is crazy. I, I, I saw that. I saw that protest the other day when I was driving over there. This is crazy, dude. And they try to what they do is they try to find something that you did when they when they after they murder you. They try to find something that you did that might be construed as bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, why, that's, that's why I don't watch the news no more because they, they do that they do that mess all the time, man. Yeah, like it's just like you know what they're gonna do or say. Oh, here's a Facebook picture of them making what looks like a gang sign. He threw up a middle <laughs> finger. Oh, I told you he was bad. Like it's crazy. So they got they have to find a way to justify your murder uh, by yeah. saying you were mm-hmm. you know, bad doing something. Mm-hmm. At one point, uh, yeah, I know all about it, man. It's, it's just so, it's just so much I want to say. Just I don't want to turn this yeah, into a yeah. political. No, no, no. We don't go there. I, I actually, good. I actually thought about saying, I no, I, almost, I almost went live to talk about some, some, some black issues. I almost, I almost did yesterday. It just, so I much. almost do that every week, man. <laughs> I swear, I'm not even joking. I it's almost do it every so week. Like, who? First of all, nobody, anybody gonna watch it. No. And you're not going to be preaching to the choir because the only, one, only people that are going to watch it are the people who agree with you. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, and then everybody else, you know, the other people be in denial and say, you know, you see it, you see racism and everything. It's your fault. It's your fault that <laughs> people are racist <laughs> against you. <laughs> yeah. See, that, 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 this, is, this, this, is, this is what pisses me off. Race, racism is systematic. Just yeah. because you have a bias against somebody doesn't mean you're racist. It means you're prejudiced. Racism is systematic, meaning that that you have power over that that group of people. That's systematic racism. Just just because, let, let's say for instance, you know, let's say I hate all white people. Do I have power over them? Can can I systematically? That is a racist them? statement, but that's not going to affect most white people. <laughs> it's not going to it's not going to affect them. That's why I, I I always school people. There's a difference between being prejudiced and racist. Right. Yep. That, that's why when people talk about black supremacists, what? I never heard of black supremacists. <laughs> you gotta be a gatekeeper to be a supremacist. You gotta it's, it's crazy. You gotta be in control of some stuff. Yes, we ain't control nothing since uh, before slavery. You know, that's 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 if you you know you go back to the your 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 deep roots, not what not the not the history that they want you to learn. The history that you have to find, look for yourself. That yep. the, the stuff that they trying to keep from you. Yep. You know that that's based that's basically what I had to do. I had to go and research myself. I had to talk to uh, a whole bunch of brothers from Africa, stuff that they knew about who they were, who they came from, way before the electric slave trade, man. So it's a lot of history that I do not want to talk they about. Don't that. They don't teach that during Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Do they pick? Yeah, well, if they if they teach they a certain the stories, <laughs> month of the year. To give us <laughs> the yep. shortest, coldest month. If hey. they teach us the real Black history, then just, just history. it would have lived. A, it, it would be a different time right now because when people actually find out who they truly came from or who they are, then we probably would be more unified than we are now. We're not even unified at all. No, nope. we're, we're not. Yeah, we're just living in a bubble. That's just how it is. We need we need to get ourselves together too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Neil said we're getting too real. real yeah, yeah, it's, it's too real out here. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, that's all good. We trying, we just talking, you know, when we get get the fifty people back. God dang, short attention. Come back in, here, y'all. We done talking about that stuff. <laughs> hey, where y'all at, man? Yeah, come back. Button. Come back, Nikki. Come back. <laughs> So we was talking about that cross play a while ago. Y'all make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button again, please. Let's get get some more of these people back here. Uh, we was just talking about some stuff, trying to trying to you know see if we get some people to come back. 
But we were talking about the crossplay. I think that everybody give their thoughts and opinions about the whole crossplay. For the most part, I mean, yeah. For the most part, I think my point was just to say that um, you know, if you make a you make a ruckus <laughs> about some stuff, self changes. Ruckus, Uncle Ruckus. Yep. Yeah. If you, you know, <laughs> I love Uncle Ruckus. Come on, man. Y'all know who Uncle Ruckus is. Come yeah. on. Don't lie to it. Come on, Sinister. You know who Uncle Ruckus is. Yeah, of course I know who he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just think about all all the stuff he say. I just I just bust out laughing. <laughs> I could just I could just be sitting down, just minding my own bit. I'd be just hanging out with a crowd. They talk about something completely different. It get quiet. I just started laughing. They said, "What you laughing at?" Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just laughing at an old old uh, uh, Boondocks episode. You know, it just all of a sudden just came from nowhere. Yeah. I just keep thinking about Uncle Ruckus. Think about it, you know? <laughs> I just think it. It's just so it's just too funny, man. <laughs> that was one of the funniest shows ever made. <laughs> they they be talking done. about yeah, everybody, the dude. Season. The first three seasons, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First three seasons, yeah. Oh, that 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 last one, nah, nah. When, when that was only brutal was and involved. That's like that, that show. It, I didn't like it at all. Yeah, yeah. Remember that episode when they was talking? They would they didn't specifically say Tyler Perry, but the person. Oh, you know it. <laughs> yeah, you everybody knows Tyler Perry. The, the light skin brothers <laughs> episode. <of this>? Yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody, every every everybody that was in, what that was involved in, in those plays, they had to be out shining and glistening. God, they had to be. They had to have that oil. Your light skin brother with his shirt off. The light skin brother with his shirt off. Save your life. <laughs> oh, my man. life. Oh man, the episode that got me is like uh, the killer kung fu wolf bitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Aisha Tyler, she played that role well. Oh, oh my god, great. that that's just too funny, dude. If y'all know what Boondocks is, man, please y'all y'all should know who Boondocks. That is a freaking awesome animated show it is so funny yeah, I, like, I mean i like the comic stress before that it is definitely yeah. not for children a yeah, lot of, in, lot of it, it's like the, the the black version of south park yeah. in many ways you know it's basically like, yeah, yeah that's a great the comic strips too because that's where it's based on but it's a little bit more like realistic down to earth stuff yeah, political satire very sharp yeah yeah very sharp political satire social commentary it's great yeah, Aaron McGrew was a genius when he <laughs> created that. Did like, you ever watch that the um the one that was, that was talking about BET? But they yeah. took it off of air. You had to buy the DVD to to get those two episodes. Yeah, yeah the EV. They, <laughs> they they, were, they was talking so badly about the CEO of BET. Oh, Deborah Lee. Yeah, man, that was so <laughs> funny, man. When, when those executives, those white executives, came in, they they was kissing her <laughs> ass. Oh, massive. <laughs> yeah. They didn't oh, care. My God. They went at oh, the old bougie. That was so crazy. Yeah, but what about the uh, Martin Luther King episode? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Man. You know, you know Ruck is back in the flashback. And he's holding a Jim Crow. Yeah, we can talk about this the whole day, man. Uh, yeah. So, so we got about almost 30 people. Okay, let, let's continue your whole bit. But like I say, people, y'all need to check out Boondocks. I think it's on, it might be on Hulu. It might. Just, just look up Boondocks. Just, uh, just I think it start, is on here. Start from just start, just go to the first season, just watch all of you won't be disappointed. It's super funny, very funny. So, okay, let's let's talk a little retro gaming, man. Any, okay, did y'all play? Okay, did anybody play? Okay, you did say you played some retros, uh, on the 64, did you? See, yeah, I've been playing uh, Sin and Punishment on the Punishment? 64. Um, it's it's an import game because it didn't come out oh. for whatever reason, it didn't come out. In uh, in the West, and it didn't mm -hmm. make any sense because the game is in English. Like, yeah, that don't make sense. I, I know. I, I guess it came out kind of late, and they just didn't want to spend the money to bring it over. Mm -hmm. But the game was already translated and everything. It, English voice acting and everything. So it was just so strange. But it's on the. Uh, I think they released it on the Wii eShop at one point. Um, I think I have it on eShop too. Yeah. But uh, it's a great game. It's made by Treasure. And if you a nineties dude, you know treasure, 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 treasure. That sounds so familiar. Oh, oh don't, 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 don't Oh, I was about to say it, man. Oh my bad. I, my I, was, bad. About to, I was about to say Dynamite Hetty. Uh that's, yeah. That's the same it's, people, ain't it? Uh yep, Gunstar Heroes, yeah. um, Gunstar Guardians too. Uh, Guardians. Ikaruga. Yeah. Um what's the uh uh the N sixty four game? Uh Shake, 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 uh Mischief Makers. Like uh -huh. they just got classic after classic from they just have a thing, you know. If your treasure made it, you know it's probably a 
a really good game. And it's always really fast paced, great music all the time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've been been playing the hell out of that game lately. Technically, Gunstar Hero was basically the first Metal Slug, if you think about it. Yeah. Was it before Metal Slug? Yes, yeah. that was before Metal Slug. Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I mean, they they were probably mm -hmm. employees. Well, all those games were aping off Contra, you know. Anyway, so. Oh yeah, Contra. Huh? Um, but the, yeah, but but uh, they were much more like animation style, all that stuff, fast pace, explosions, and all that stuff were way better. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in the uh, Gunstar game and the um, and uh, Metal Slug games, for sure, those games were great. So. Okay, so okay. Retro. Is there any retro news out there besides the those Castlevania games supposed to be remastered or going to the PS4? I'm yeah, like, how come beat 'em ups? Because like I said, not these arcades. I still need to get that. Did you, did you buy on the Switch? Which one did you buy on? I bought on the Xbox. On the Xbox, it has online, don't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I need. I need to get that. I played with my boy Kano. Like I just said, shout out to my bro Kano because we we co opted on uh, online with the uh, Armor Warriors. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. I, I need to find I need to find some people to play. Matter of fact, I, I need to find somebody to play Streets, uh, Streets of Rage because I, I got that uh, that uh, Sega Genesis collection on the Xbox. Yeah, because I have that too. Oh, yeah, really? I'm waiting on the Switch one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, one, that's supposed to be coming out uh, later on this year. I think it's next year, actually. I that, think. Why? Why it took so long? That doesn't make sense. Because uh, they, you know, they. We're focusing on the Xbox and um, PlayStation version, and then they that's what they do, they port it afterwards. Unless that's, they get that's some why I don't understand. It's mo, mo you know, mm -hmm. most likely it's gonna sell more on the Switch because right most of the games are pick up and play. It's gonna sell anyway. Like they, they sold what they could on Xbox yeah. and PlayStation and then gonna come out on Switch and it's gonna sell on the Switch anyway. So I mean mm -hmm. look at what happened to Crash. Crash came out a year later and it's still so really well on Switch too. So speaking of Crash, I'm still pissed off because, of course, yes, it was out a year on on the PS4, and like by six eight months later, the price dropped to about twenty dollars, and all of a sudden it, the price goes back up when the Switch and the Xbox version came out. I was like, what the hell is this? Slick, and <laughs> I'm like, what kind of mess is this GameStop? I literally saw this game for twenty dollars pre-owned, and now y'all want thirty five ninety nine pre-owned. I was like, wow, such pre-owned? Pre-owned. The game is forty dollars brand new. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It was $35.99 pre-owned. Wow. And like about a like a month before, it was $19.99 pre-owned. Mm -hmm. Well, they they that's they smart. They they know the, the popular because look at the UK charts. Crash is top three for the last what four or five months. Mm. It's in the top three in sales. Oh really? Yeah. Insane tra uh, insane trilogy, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. We love that game over there. Mm. It's like a little bit racist in uh, FIFA, <laughs> right? Okay. So, okay. As far as the games that I bought these past few weeks, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I shared everything with y'all. Uh, let me see, because I I uh, just bought some games on eBay the other day, and I bought some today. I uh, I just bought Panzer Dragoon. The first one today, I wouldn't go say Saga, man. I ain't got that type of money, man. <laughs> I ain't got that type of money, man. <laughs> so I have How Panzer. Much did you pay? I paid $60 for a Panzer Dragoon. Is that complete? I'm guessing. Yes, yes, yes. The manual and all that. I have all that. No, I, I don't want anything incomplete. Only thing that I bought that was incomplete was Splatterhouse 1 and 2. Uh, it's, it's a, it's Is it a, that uh, much? Panzer yes. Dragoon? Yes. It is. Uh, oh, that's not it. So, basically, I got this is Splatterhouse uh, three. If y'all can look, people, y'all can tell that that is not that's not the original version. Just look at it. You got a repro. It's, it's, it's repro. Yeah, it, it's repro. That's Splatterhouse three. Splatterhouse three is very expensive right now. If, if you just want to play the game, like yes, I want to play. Worry it. about all that collecting stuff, or you yes. worry about having all. Like repros are great, I think. They are great because I saw I'm going to buy it at Chrono Trigger repro for about twenty dollars. Yeah, I'm not paying no two three hundred dollars. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. That's crazy. 
That is crazy. Yeah. I, I wish Nintendo would have would have added that in that bundle of that Super Nintendo Classic. Matter of fact, I thought about just uh, having that's somebody right. mod it. You, you, uh, that's mm -hmm. all right. They didn't have to add it. I added it in my damn self. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I modded mine. I modded. I don't, don't want to mess it up. I, I, it's, oh, bro, bro, it's so easy. It's real easy. And um, you can't mess it up because you're saving your your um your original ISO. You're backing it up. Yeah. Something you can't do on the Switch. You're backing it up. <laughs> and uh, so if anything goes wrong, all you got to do is just drop that back in there. Oh, um, really? And it's, trust me, it's mad easy to do. So basically, of course, this is Splatterhouse 3 in my hand. And what's playing on TV right now is Splatterhouse 2. If I want to get the original version just for the cartridge alone without the cases and all that, I'll be spending a total probably about 100 and. Twenty hundred and thirty dollars, probably more than that, just for the two cartridges. But if you want the full, complete, the cases and the manuals, you could mm -hmm. probably spend about close to three hundred dollars. Oh yeah, it's 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 that crazy. I'm like, Same. dude, I just want to play games. Hmm? It's supply and demand, man. That's what it is. Supply and demand. Some of it is. Some of them is these dudes raising the prices up because they can. Yeah, and they also um, they do sell Splatterhouse cases. Like it looks just like the the oh, original yeah, yeah. case. You can so, buy uh yeah, you can buy repro cases too. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking about doing. I, I, <laughs> that's the way I would go. That's the way I'm probably about to go because it's just too expensive, dude. Like I don't have six hundred dollars for that so that Panzer Dragon saga. It's too damn much, man. You can't repro that. That's a car payment. No, you can't repro that. You can't at all. You know, there's a repro for that like too. Mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't been on looking in a while. Uh, what else did I bought? I, I bought uh, I don't know if y'all remember this game called Gex. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah, I got Gex. I yeah. I got that off on um uh, I I won it from a bid on eBay for twenty five dollars and you know this Saturn. game yeah for the Saturn yeah because the game alone for the full complete set the case and manual and all that is between fifty to sixty dollars. So, yeah. so sometimes it's good to to bid on eBay because I also won a bid for Secret of Man uh, Mania for the Super Nintendo, and I paid twenty eight dollars, and that game run between forty to sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah, you definitely should bid if you're if you if you are a retro gaming collector or something like that. Don't do the buy it now. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, that's how they get you. That's how they yeah, get you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If I know people, some people do it because they don't they don't feel like waiting and they don't feel like, but I. If you really, you know, if you want to save money, you got to do the bid. You got to bid on it, and just have mm -hmm. your have your price ready to go in those last seconds and yep. hit it, and then hope for the best. That's I how thought, I, I, I thought about that. buying. Uh, I thought about buying Shinobi uh, Legions. I thought about it, but it's not a great game. I, I, I don't know why. It's, it's expensive it's a, because it's, it's rare. It's a hundred dollars, dude. Yeah, it's not a great game though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I want to get it just to collect it because I want to complete my Shinobi collection because yeah. I have all the Shinobi games except two of them. The one from the, the, the Master System Shinobi and the Shinobi Legion. I have Shinobi, the Revenge of Shinobi, uh, Shinobi Hello, 3. Bye. I have the Shadow Dancer. I have Shinobi for the PS2. I have Nightshade from, uh, for the PS2. I have all those, those Shinobi What's games. What's your favorite? Um, the favorite. I would say probably Shinobi Three. Of course, <laughs> I would say, that game's amazing, man. I, I don't mean, know how you can Shinobi, Shinobi Three. That <laughs> was a great game, dude. Yeah, it's like fighting that evil Spider-Man in the the second. Of course, that maze it the pissed everybody. That, that's, that's revenge of Shinobi. Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, the other yeah. evil Spider-Man. What are you talking about? Revenge. Oh, I thought you were talking about Shinobi Three. That's crazy because they had uh you 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 fought the uh the term was it Terminator you fought on that yeah, game too uh, Avengers Shinobi yeah. yeah you fought it was Spider Man it was another licensed character that we fought in that game I'm trying to remember who it was I mean, they they actually it. there was like uh, a Godzilla in there God, I mean, it I, oh yeah it was Godzilla yeah you're right about that yeah yeah because. Yeah, the hardest part of the Revenge of Shinobi was that maze because you can get so lost. Oh, oh, man, yeah. Yeah, that maze did get me, dude. It's funny because, like, in the 80s and the 90s, they took chances on, like, making characters that look like certain things, but they didn't have the license. Yeah. Um, if you remember, Contra was one of the first ones I remember. 
Contra is, is definitely Rambo and Commando. Yep. Um, if you look at the pose of the the blonde dude, I think his name is Duke. Uh, Bill. That's that's from that's from Predator. That's from yep. that's Arnold Schwarzenegger in the in the uh, in the forest in Predator with that pose. They just took that. They literally traced it. <laughs> they literally traced it and made it a different thing. Yeah. Then Lance is all oh, alone. Oh. Yeah, Lance is Rambo. Yeah, don't forget the xenomorph in the background. And the xenomorph, wow. yeah. So it's they jacked a lot of stuff in those days that they got away with it. The people nope. wouldn't take mm -hmm. a chance. On that. Yeah, but um, going back to the first one over there, the original, they also got sued because the uh, the Marilyn Monroe posters in the background. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. And, and you, you know another thing uh, about suing that that I don't think Sega never caught. That Eternal Champions game, that was yep. a soundtrack on there that was on the Eternal East 1999 album. All oh, Bone, I both of us in harmony. Uh oh. Yes. That Eternal song on that on that album was the same the same soundtrack that was on the Eternal Champions. I'm yeah, that was another you. thing that happened a lot in the nineties. You got like, you know, big music uh, uh producers, not just producers, but like I remember um, the drummer from The Police. He did some tracks for what's that that Croc game. Was it Croc? No, it wasn't Croc. It was a uh, uh, Spyro. He did oh, the music really? for Spyro. Um, so you had you had like you know big name people who were doing like, these video game soundtracks. That doesn't really happen anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, because since you want to mention that, like music ripoffs, like you know, I was watching Top Gun, there was like a beat in there. So, like, wait a minute, it's like Ken Stage just you know, took, <laughs> took a cue from uh, Top Gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. So, so okay, did we talk about everything? I know we talked about the crossplay, yeah, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online, uh, what else? Uh, what else? Oh, dude, I just now looking at my title. I'll put our damn Google Hangouts in the damn title. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, how the hell can I fix that before we get some weirdos in here? <laughs> we about to get some weirdos in here. <laughs> yeah, the thing is over and edit it. <laughs> That's probably why I ain't getting no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I gotta edit that bad boy before we get some, before we get some weirdos in here. Okay. <laughs> I just now looked at this. I don't know if I want to keep going because I don't want the weirdos coming in. Uh, but yeah, did we discuss everything? Um, I think we did discuss everything from the PS4 yeah, crossplay, the uh, Nintendo Switch Cloud thing. Uh, uh, it was another one. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Game Awards and Metroid. Was that, was oh, that we did, we didn't talk about that. I, don't I thought we did. did. We I think we maybe say a little bit it, about. Yeah. It. We might mention it, but. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. If y'all want to talk about it, whatever. If not, we can just get y'all skip to the questions. Reggie was wearing a Metroid shirt. It has to be. Oh, is that what it was? He yeah, was wearing well, a Metroid shirt. It, well, yeah. The thing was, uh, he was taking a picture with uh, Jeff Keighley. Um, oh, and somebody Jeff else. Keighley. <laughs> and uh, uh, he said, "Somebody." The caption was, "We'll see you in December or something." Whatever the Game Awards, you know. Oh, is that what he said? Because he was wearing the Metroid shirt. Everybody speculated that's why um, Metroid Prime was going to be shown there. But I, I had speculated that before. <laughs> before that, I was like, because it just made sense to me. Because, like, I think I said it before, but one of the things about Metroid, the Metroid series is that it's a very core series. It doesn't really sell yeah. uh, outside of its core fan base. It hasn't really expanded. Uh -huh. I think the Game Awards is a perfect place to, like, re, you know, introduce that series to people, especially with the Switch being popular. Mm -hmm. uh, all the all the mainstream media being there, I think that's a good venue to put a game like that out. So. You, you know, another thing that well, I would think it would help with the sales, and it would have helped with the sales if they would implement that feature online. Find a way to put online functionality, like maybe do like a co-op mission, uh, do some some death team death match, like do something. Even that something will keep simple, people to come back and play. Yeah, mm -hmm. even something as simple as what they did with Prime Hunters on DS, like just you know a mode like that or modes like that, where 
Um, Cause I used to play the hell out of Prime Hunters on on online until those dudes, uh, I think it was the Japanese players uh, mm -hmm. started learning how to cheat. <laughs> and then you were going murked. You would get murked going in there playing, trying to play those dudes. Mm -hmm. um, and they were, just like, they were just like flying all across the screen. It was crazy. It was like, I'm out of here. Um, mm. Just something that, as simple as that, you know? It doesn't have to be too crazy. You know, a team death match, a, you know, simple mode, capture the flag, that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be too intricate. Just something to add. Yeah. That's some variety. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, like, like, for instance, Doom, like, their online multiplayer would, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people played it, but a lot of people say it's not as fun as the single player. But, you know. I thought it was pretty fun. But with, you know, Bethesda got that, they got that reputation that they don't do many online games. That's yeah. why they probably implemented that feature in there so they can have more replay value to it. And now they now they uh, got that new Fallout game uh, that's coming out, supposed to be focused online. So it yeah. seems that both Bethesda is trying to focus online. Uh, but I don't know. Like I'm not sh I'm not sure if I if I like them to go that direction because the single player games that we get, I feel that we get a lot of content from them. Yeah, you know I think they're good the way they are, but I, I don't know. Maybe some of their games they feel that it's not selling well. Maybe they might want to do the online. Um, yeah, because don't you think? Don't you think uh, online multiplayer would have helped uh, Wolfenstein too? Yeah, I, I, I was about to say that. Uh, matter of fact, somebody was talking to one of the Sony reps uh, not too long ago, and they asked about the sales of. It. Matter of fact, I, I, I think Bethesda is is uh, about to. Uh, do a Wolfenstein three because they want to continue. They want to finish the the story of uh, was Blaswick is that his name? Yeah, Blaswick. Uh, B J Blaswick. Yeah, B J Blaswick. Whatever how you say his name. Yeah, they want to finish his story. So they asked about the sales. They said they said it's so uh, good enough. So good enough. Right. They won't give us the 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 you know, all the sales, but. I think it's so like, good. Yeah, I think it's so good enough, but it's it's not it's not those Fallout sales that I'm pretty sure that, that they. No, own. no, no. But they're still making a sequel. Yeah. Uh, somebody need to tell Microsoft to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The game doesn't have to sell ten million copies when you make a sequel to it. It was, it was like another game that I feel. Um, I I don't. I'm not sure if they're gonna make a sequel because the game didn't sell that well. I think it was Prey or something like that. It was either Prey or that. Uh, well, Prey Two is coming out. So. Yeah, it might, it might not be right. It was another game. I'm trying to remember. Prey sold okay. It wasn't great, but they got two. Yeah. Two looks way I, better. I tried. I tried to uh, play Prey, but I didn't really care about it. I, I stopped. Yeah, it, it, it kind of got boring. It was all right. It, but two looks to be way yeah. better. It's already out. No, it's not out yet. Okay, maybe I'll give it a chance, man. You know, when I, when I bought it, it was already on sale for twenty dollars. So it's not like that. I I, I paid full price uh, for the game. You know. Uh, but with the VJs that that's uh, about to come about next month and a half or two months, do y'all really feel that Reggie Fitzmay will come on stage again and give us a uh, a trailer to that Metro Prom Four, in which we've been asking for for a very long time? Uh, was not not last E3, but the E3 before that, we got a uh, a title screen, and I'm pretty sure a lot of Metro fans is getting very restless right now. Because we want some gameplay. We want to know what this game about. It's been over 10 years since the last Metro Prime game. 2007, that is a very long time. That is 2007. I met my wife in 2007. And we're going on nine years of marriage since December. That's a long time. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. Like, dang, man, that is a long time since we had a Prime game. Well, Metro Prime game. Well, as I said before, Prime 3 is the worst selling of the Prime games. Mm -hmm. So they went from here and they just kept going down as far as the sales go. So well, because I, and, it, and it was on a system that sold over 100 million units. So it wasn't the install base that was the problem with that game. Um I won't say install base. It, 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 well, how can I explain? The, that? the problem with the Wii is that the its gimmick overshadowed. Like, mm -hmm. cause it had some good core games on it, but mm -hmm. people weren't checking for them as much because they were yeah. into like you know the more the more gimmicky stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but 
I think that the uh, Switch is more of a hardcore console than a Switch. I mean, I mean, than the, than the Wii. Uh, you know, because for instance, Bethesda. Like, when the last time they got any support from Bethesda? You know, Bethesda games, all of them are ready to mature. I don't. I, I think all their titles are ready to mature on Bethesda yeah. titles. All of their titles, are yeah, of course. <laughs> Not forget, yeah, all our games are ready to mature. So that that right there tells you that. They see something out this this console that a lot of these other companies don't see. So there's still some some companies still don't want to put games on on the, on the Switch, you know. But they're gonna eventually come around. But that's that's why I said that I really hope whenever uh, the new consoles come out that Nintendo would maybe do a refresh Switch so we can, like the pe- people like us or what people like me. I don't know if y'all want it. You know, have more of a juiced up switch so we can play uh, some of these newer games that's running on a newer engine. Like, like uh, whenever Unreal Engine Five comes, like Unreal Engine Five, yeah, ain't no way they're gonna put any games on the Switch because that's that's like you you turn down the whole thing, you starting over. That's that's money, man. It's a lot of money they got put into those games. You yep. know, so that that's why I, I really hope that Nintendo knows what they're doing when these new consoles come out, man. Cause I'm pretty sure Nintendo won't. They want to keep selling the Switch, but I, I say this console will probably be another five more years. That's what I'm thinking. It could be more. Well, here's the thing: it will sell more. They'll drop mm-hmm. a new console, mm-hmm. and I think the Switch will still be selling really well. You know why? Because mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna morph into their new handhelds at some point. Probably so. You know what I'm saying? So the next console is gonna come out, but the Switch is still gonna be selling because. Mm-hmm. It's you know, it's going to get to a point, think about it, it's going to get to a point where it's like $149 or $99. Or oh, I doubt that. that. You know how Nintendo is with their consoles. It's going to be a while. That, that Wii U like, still costs $200, man. It's like seven or eight. No, the, the 2DS, um, uh, the, you know, the streamlined one is like $79. Yeah, but so, Nintendo, they still consider the, the Switch as a console, home console. Remember they said? Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying once the new system comes out, yeah. they can morph, they can do a new revision of the Switch and have you know and not be joy cons you just have it one system that's all attached and just be a you know a yeah, handheld yeah. system they could totally do that and it'll cut a lot of the price a lot of the cost out of it they did that so that's, uh, that's why i think it's gonna sell i think the switch is gonna be selling for like you know seven eight nine years probably so you actually think Nintendo could go almost a decade with this? This, this not, not with this as their main console. No. Oh, okay. About the second. No, no, that's, not, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they could drop, they're going to drop a new console within oh, okay. five years, but right. the Switch will probably still be selling because it'll be a lot cheaper than it is now, and it, it's going to be the most powerful handheld out there. You know. Still. So, another question about this: When they come out with their new console, should it be a home console or should they go the same route? I go back and forth with that, you know. Yeah, uh, I yeah, go back and forth because I love there. what Switch does, um, portably and all that stuff. But I would, I would like to see them go back to a traditional console as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it just depends on. They're gonna. I think they're gonna have to if they if they're gonna want to continue to to get you know even a small amount of third party support. I don't think. You're gonna be able to go into that next generation mm-hmm. uh, with these little carts, man. Eight gigabyte carts, and <laughs> sixteen <laughs> gigabyte carts. That ain't gonna work. Like, cause these games are the next gen is gonna be four K, four K all day. Yeah. And it's gonna be hard to implement four K on a tablet device, you know, and have it be a reasonable price. But what the deal with this is that if if they want to go back to the traditional home console and they gotta have a separate handheld like that's gonna be kind of a iffy kind of deal because their handhelds always outsell their consoles and how are they gonna when okay another question how are they gonna do their games or are they gonna put the, the better games on, on their handhelds like they usually do or are they gonna are they going to put the better games on their console like that's that's been a dog fight for a while we had the same that same argument with the Wii U and the 3DS on how the 3DS always get the better games. They get more games. I'm, I'm telling you, man, you, you heard it here first. Uh-huh. There will not be anything after the 3DS. The Switch is going to morph into their next handheld, and they're going to have a, you know, a mainline home console. I guarantee it. 
So when they have a, a, a new a new mainline console, mm -hmm. are you saying that they're not going to have, they're going to stop with their handhelds? No, Switch will be their handheld. No. Uh, when they drop their next console, yes. Switch is going to, you know, step, it's going to take a step down okay. and it's going to be their handheld. Oh, so, so you said they're going to start selling the Switches just, just the handheld only? I, I totally believe that. I think that's what they're going to do. It, it's very Nintendo. To, for them to do that, um, yeah. to because it's going to be great for their cost saving, uh -huh. and uh, I think that's what they're going to do. Because if you think about the Switch, you know, yeah, it's great that it, it has all the the um, the uh, motion control stuff and all that, but they're not forcing motion controls for most ninety nine percent of the games. They don't force you to use the motion controls. It's you know that's why they have traditional traditional controls on it. So mm -hmm. morphing that thing into just like a, like look at the 2DS, like the 2DS XL, morphing into a, a, a device where it's just one piece. I think, you know, they could do that and it will save them a lot of money. As yeah. far as have, we're having to worry about detachable joy cons and all that stuff. They won't have to worry about that at that point. I got you. I got you. Hmm. I don't know. It's, it, I don't know. That, that's why with them coming up with the switch, right you know uh, uh back in 2017 it's kind of like it, it's a lot of questions about about the future when the next consoles come out how they're going to do this you know if the switch is a success then or they're going to go the the console slash the hybrid ref from now on or like it's just i don't know i don't know it's just a lot of questions you never know, I, I know. that's that's one of the things i love about them and drives me crazy about them is that you never know like the GameCube, the GameCube yeah. was up. It was more powerful than PS2. It was mm -hmm. right under the Xbox, original Xbox, as far as power. Better mm -hmm. in it in some in some aspects, mm -hmm. but power wise, it was right there. But then they come out with the Wii after that, <laughs> you know. So it's just like, you know, you think they were gonna take that next, you know, power step, but they didn't. Oh, just, uh, like, it was like dead and death on with the Wii. Yeah, they yeah. cheaped out on, on they cheaped out on that Wii. They did. They were like they weren't ready to make the move because they. They saw you know, they're very they're very conscious about costs, and they saw the HD era and they saw how expensive it was. Yeah. Just think about how many companies we lost. Cuts. How many companies we lost during the seven gen because of how expensive it was to make games in that era. We lost mm -hmm. a lot of companies. Yep, yeah. so, so these games is very expensive. That's that's when we got these these loot boxes and all those microtransactions like this. It's, it's, all those guys are gone. Man, I miss Midway. They made they made awesome sports games back then, like yeah. with the Blitz. But they couldn't. Thing. They couldn't. You know, they couldn't uh, evolve to the. What was, what was that NBA? Was it Showtime? Uh, it was NBA something. Shaq was on the cover. NBA Hang Time. Hang Time. Hang I don't time. know. It was Midway. It, it was awesome, dude. The NBA Hang Time. Yeah, NFL Blitz. Slug Fest, man. They man. I used to love playing our sports game. It was so fun. Dude. Yeah, the NFL Blitz, man. It's like. Yeah, the Blitz series, like you don't see those types of games anymore because oh, you, you know unless you, you see the the some of these indie game any companies are starting to do games like that. Mutant League Football comes out this month, I think, right? Real, I didn't know that. Yeah, and it looks really good too. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks visually really good. Yeah, and, and speaking of indies and having those type of games, that's that's one of the reasons why retro gaming is so popular because of yeah. these indie games. Yeah, any indie companies, indie companies virtual console, like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess uh, I really don't really have anything else to say. Uh, y'all got y'all got a few questions in that chat. The uh, little people that's here, we lost a lot of people. They didn't come back. <laughs> y'all got pour any questions some, for us? Yeah, pour some liquor out for the people we lost. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, got they got those short attention spans, man. <laughs> Damn millennials! <laughs> we'll we'll get the people back. I just I just need to stay consistent, man. Because uh, once we once we stay consistent, we can we can get back to where I was at a few months ago. Because uh, since yeah. the, since the, remember we we used to get damn near hundred people while watching right. while, while we was going live. Yep, hell yeah, we used to. But yeah, so you gotta you know, turn your you gotta turn your YouTube channel into brand flakes. Brand flakes. <laughs> they like they like their bland cereal. 
Because mm-hmm. I, I know I know Terminator, y'all y'all stay consistent on on, on Terminator's use podcast. Y'all go every Monday, right? Yeah, we go pretty much every Monday. I think we missed maybe two Mondays in the last three years or some two years oh, ago. Wow, that's some commitment right there. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and, and even even the, the that podcast have we've seen like you know um a drop in views and whatnot. It's just YouTube, man. YouTube, YouTube is yeah, the everybody. What, what are y'all average because it's, it's not your fault that you're getting less views. It's not yeah. it's it's just YouTube is the algorithm and everything and it's screwing with everything. Mm-hmm. So so I, like when I was watching y'all, y'all was having between like between fifty to six, sometimes eighty people yeah. doing. Where y'all at now? You get like eight hundred to a thousand views pretty much every podcast at uh, every podcast. Not now. It we went down. We get, huh? we lucky we get six hundred views. They went down. Huh? We lucky we get forty people. Damn, was, damn. I remember y'all used to get a lot more. I, I, I remember one time y'all. I think y'all cracked a hundred. I think y'all did one time. We haven't changed anything. It's just again, it's the the new YouTube policies, the new Google policies that screwed well, everybody. Well, Rob, yeah, he's a part of that podcast, too, ain't he? Ain't Rob a part of that podcast? Nah, he left a while ago. Ah, uh, y'all, that's uh, he. He the guy is ten thousand subs, so he's at peace he out. Phone wave now. He can't. He, can't <laughs> he don't oh, mess with his peasants. You know, he he's forgot where he came from. You, know, <laughs> who are you guys. Oh, he, was like, he was like, I don't have time to do the podcast anymore, guys. Sorry. And then, like a mu- a couple months later, he on phone wave. I'm like, damn, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, it's my like, wow. bro. Yeah, you, I you, you ain't had no time. You can't, you can't, can't <laughs> shell out a few of them subscribers you got there. <laughs> oh man, no, well, I like I mean, he's gotten them because he's been on the spawncast, so that's well, where no, no, he be consistent with his with his content. He's consistent, he's right? He's consistent. He, he he was very consistent all year, especially this year. So you know, like if I was consistent, man, I ain't I got know, time. I, man. I, it's, it's it's hard, man. It's really hard right now. Like I'm really trying, like to be honest, I won't. It will probably be sometime in the springtime, cause that's what I'm getting my house. I'm getting my house in the springtime. I'm getting I'm getting an extra bedroom because, like I say, I'm sharing this room right right now. This room that y'all see is my son's room. Yes, oh. my son. My son look at this every day in the background. <laughs> uh oh. I, 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 at least I wish during my childhood I had a, a room like this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my kids are so spoiled. He plays these games whenever he wants to. Mm. Like yeah. Jesus Christ, just imagine. Just imagine when I was a when I was a child. I'm looking at all these damn games in my 300, 400 some games in my my face right now. A big old 50 inch TV on my wall. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, wow. man, you never go to bed. I know. I think yeah. uh, both of my kids have a switch. You think my mom would have bought me a three hundred dollars switch back in the day? Oh, handle yeah. to the knob. <laughs> Uh, nope. You're going to get the job, boy. You're going to be able to cut some grass, boy. In the summertime. <laughs> going to get out there cutting that grass. Uh, I'll shovel some snow. That's how I got my Super Nintendo. I was cutting yards. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that, actually. That, 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 that's how I used to hustle for a lot, a lot of my games back then. I used to cut grass. I used to, uh, um, you know, uh, do uh, a lot of chores and stuff. Yeah. Do a lot of a lot of yard work for my grandma because she, she was a plant lover. So I, I worked, man. I worked. I would take – I would uh-huh. take – I took. I used to sweep at a uh, barber shop, and I took that money, saved that up, so I can buy me a lawnmower. And I mm. took the lawnmower, you know, and made. I just I would walk around neighborhoods. Mm. You need your yard cut. You need your yard cut. I made. I used to make like fifty dollars every Saturday doing that. I just saved my money up and. That's yeah. about, about that's a game. lot of money. If you were a ten-year-old kid, fifty dollars a week. Yeah. That's yeah. A lot of don't, money. don't don't think my mom didn't take a cut. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got her cut. Well, just think about it. Okay, you said you was a kid. Okay, uh, okay. I think I think he got me about I was like seven, 12, eight, about 12, twelve. Yeah. And what? I think you like what? You like 38, 37? 40. Oh damn! Dang. Oh, <laughs> he's behind me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I see why the gray. I see why. Okay, okay. So basically, this, this talking about the this ain't crack though. This ain't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, okay, man, okay. okay. Like, well, when you start, when you start uh, going to the bathroom every thirty minutes, you know what that means. It's time for that glove. It's time for that glove. <laughs> ain't that no, ain't that it's, time, it's time for that glove. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, so you talking about the eighties making actually, actually in the eighties that's no, pretty damn early cool. 90s. Oh, early nineties. Okay, early, like okay, nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Okay, okay. That's still good because remember, like gas prices around that time was like less than a dollar. Yeah, milk was like eighties. Yeah. Milk was like what 50, 50 cents. Like food was very cheap around that time. Remember those little bag but, of but minimum wage. Let me hit you with this. Minimum wage when I got my first like job, like when mm -hmm. I, you know I actually got a paycheck. Yeah. Um, minimum wage was four dollars and twenty five cents. Oh my god, <laughs> that's, so, that's crazy. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, early nineties when I got my first job, I was like, and I was out there pushing carts, sweating my ass off, ooh, bagging groceries. Yeah, you know? my fir my first official yeah, job was, was working at uh Target. I, I believe the minimum wage at that time was like six dollars and twenty cents or thirty. This this was back in two thousand and five. That was my first uh, official job when I was in college. Uh, but you know, during the early two thousand, I used to help my my uh, my uncle because uh, he had his own moving business. And you know, of course, every weekend I was like 15, 16 years old. I used to you know all day you know sun up, sun down, moving like two, three different families that day. And I was making some good. I, I'll make some good money. You know, I was a teenager making like let's say about hundred fifty to two hundred dollars that night every weekend. So yeah. that wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, so technically I started working at fifteen, but my first official job as far as ta you know paying my taxes was when I was, when I was eighteen. Yeah, I was fifteen too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I worked at a racetrack because you know Kentucky is known for horse racing, and mm -hmm. I worked the one at uh, in Lexington. Chucky Derby. You know, Mm -hmm. I was sweeping behind ticket stands. Of course, I find money back there, but you know, I was making good money at that time. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it was only seasonal. It was like April and October and stuff like that. So basically, it was good in April because it was springtime. It was warm and all that stuff. Of course, that was a month before the Kentucky Derby. So, but you, you, you hear this, people out there in YouTube world? We we hustle. We worked. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, don't. Don't believe, don't believe what the news say. Don't believe all yeah. the propaganda that we're relating. Yeah, don't, don't believe it. Don't believe that nonsense. I had three or four odd jobs. It's partly because I'm Jamaican, and Jamaicans have a lot of jobs anyway. Oh, that explains <laughs> the dreadlocks. <laughs> you, don't, you don't sound Jamaican. Yeah, I don't have an accent. My dad does. Okay, okay. Say, say, <laughs> the, say, say, the, um, say three. Three? <laughs> you ain't Jamaican, man. You're supposed well, to say you tree. Say tree? Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, bumble, yeah, clatter, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, mean, I, I used to make fun of this guy. Bro. He, he, also, he used to get mad at me. I say, say one, one, two, two, three, tree. <laughs> and I mean, you know, like, shut up, man. Because of my knees, telling me almost and really love my new video. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I mean, I'll be so, I'll be I know a little patois, but yeah, you ain't Jamaican if you don't say tree, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, my parents are Jamaican and they had sex and then they had me. So that makes sense. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, I man. may not have an accent, but you know, that don't mean. So, was, was you born there or, or here? Or I was born, born here. I was almost born there. I was born oh, here. Okay. Okay. So you thought that American accent. <laughs> I did. Uh -huh. So yeah, okay. Do you have any questions in the chat? I know a lot of people dropped off, and we don't have many watching. About twenty some, twenty eight, whatever. Any questions before we end this this uh this podcast? Uh, I hope the next week we won't have no hiccups because actually we was doing good. We was approaching fifty. I, I, was, I actually thought we was gonna hit sixty. We was rolling, man. We was rolling, then all of a sudden just. That old YouTube algorithm, man. Yeah, see, again, YouTube, they were like, hold on. They killed us during the middle of the show. <laughs> watching his, his uh, podcast, we got to shut this down. Yeah. So yeah. Will Smith can get more views in this. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have no chance. We can't compete with that, man. No, nah, man. No way. Like everybody loves Ty Will Smith. Tyrese is having another rant. Tyrese Gibson got another rant. Oh, <laughs> gosh, what now? He's yeah, still, is he, is he still beefing with The Rock? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't know if he's still doing that, but that was embarrassing for him. Oh, he just needs to stop, man. Stop just hating, stop. man. Why are you hating? I, I, I think the one thing I can understand why he's hating because he he started the series way before The Rock, and yeah, but you know, I, of course The Rock is more popular. The that's series probably. didn't blow up until The Rock came. I mean, let's yeah, be uh, five. I mean, yeah, that's when he debuted. And 
No, fast four. No, that, was that what blew it no, up. The fast started, no, fast five was The Rock. Yeah, fast five was The Rock. That's when it really started to take off. Fast um, five. Four was okay. But, yeah, because never like fast five was you know down to Brazil and all that. Because yeah. that's my favorite. That was I like that one a lot. That was really good. Yeah, because I mean, because mm-hmm. I can speak Portuguese just like uh, Jordana oh, Brewster. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, questions, people. I don't really have any questions. Uh, besides, EJ said, "What are you looking forward to?" As far as what, like games is coming out? I'm assuming he said he, he's talking about games. Uh, it's a lot of games coming out. It's the, we're approaching holiday season. Um, Red Dead Redemption Two. I know everybody went their hands on that. Oh hell yeah! I got the Xbox One. Uh, so Six would be. Of course, it comes out on my birthday. <laughs> Soul Caliber. You know what? The only Soul Calibur game I played was the one on the Dreamcast. I need to, I need to get back into that because I really did what? love the Dreamcast. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. But you didn't have a GameCube, right, when it came out, right? Well, the one with uh, no, no one. Actually, I have that right now. I just hadn't played it. I just hadn't played. It. I, I've been, playing the, I've been, I've been playing the Dreamcast version. Yeah. Soul Calibur two. Um, that was the truth right there. Yeah, I had the one with Spawn in it. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal now, but playing as Link was just like, what? That's yeah, crazy. that was the that was the best seller of the three. Yeah, that was the best selling one, even though the even though the GameCube had the lowest install base. <laughs> well, of course it's gonna sell. Like I said, Nintendo fans, it's a it's a cult, man. They'll follow what their, their characters are <laughs> in. Just like you get to play as you can play old dude with a Link costume on Skyrim. Look how that's sold. Yeah. That, yeah, but that was really a, I was gonna buy it anyway, because I, I already bought Skyrim twice <laughs> mm-hmm. before that, but that was that was a nice little uh, incentive. Yeah, because I mean, uh, Michael said you three ready to lose at Super Mario Party Online, so they actually have an online on that. Yeah, the mini game stuff, I think. The mini games. When's that coming out? Uh, sometime this month, right? Mario Party comes out. Well, I think we, have, we have to have online to play that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I can't, I can't play you online. Sorry. <laughs> See, we, Michael, we still on boycott. <laughs> no, 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 no. People People try to add me to their family plan. I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm trying to prove a point. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. Like, I can't, because it, it's like, I can't critique it or people will feel like that if I buy it mm-hmm. or I have it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, oh, you got it. So, what you complaining about? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Okay. Is there any more questions? Because, uh, yeah, it has a special mode for mini games. Yeah, it's a, a mini game mode. Oh, so heard, like this Friday. I heard it only has four boards. Is that true? I don't know. Because if that's true, that's some bullshit. Because <laughs> the N64 one had at least eight boards, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Mario Party 2 had at least eight boards on it. Mm. So, I really never got to the Mario Party series. I, I really never did. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's... Not more, more I, I I played a little bit on the Wii. You know, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, I, I stopped playing by the Wii ones. My last one was uh, Mario Party Five. I think we just oversaturated those Mario Party. It's just too many. Yeah. And they're just too samey. A lot of them are. This one looks mm-hmm. like a return to form. That's what I keep hearing. This is a return to the, the good Mario Party. So. Hmm. Hopefully that's true. It's. I mean, like me and my kids, we're gonna have a blast playing Mario Party. So. Uh, yep. That's good as long as y'all having fun. Yeah. Any more questions, people, before we uh, end this podcast? Any more questions? Going once, going twice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but they all have at least six boards, says Ruby Sakurai. Oh, okay. So if this one has four, that's some bullshit. I guess if y'all wonder where Alex is at, if y'all ask, he's in Hawaii. Hawaii. And Nick, he decided to, uh, you know, back out at the last minute. Fucking Nick. <laughs> and Retro Bro, he had to stay. Uh, he had to stay uh, late at work, so that's why we down to three people today. I actually went by faster though with us three. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot yeah. faster. Even with the technical difficulty. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on, man. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Google. I'm forgiving that band, Nick. <laughs> what, what did he do? What, what did Nick do? Man? That's a hate crime, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But honest question, why does Nintendo Online suck? Ducky what? What? Wow. <laughs> I gotta look at that. <laughs> wow. That, that's that, that's 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 crazy. That's something you got to ask uh, Nintendo, man. <laughs> just wait, just wait, wait and see. It'll get better. That's why it sucks. Told y'all to stop with that laptop insanity. Lap laptop. Laptop. What about the laptop? You using a laptop? I'm using a gaming laptop. Wow. No, my laptop is is yes, it's it's good for streaming. My, my, my MacBook isn't. I have a quad core. Too. I have a quad core process on my laptop. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the Dreamcast internet again. <laughs> <laughs> the Sega <laughs> net. And Sega there net. go with the Sega net stuff. Wasn't Sega net like 22 a month or something? That was kind of a lot back in the 90s, though. Oh, that was yeah, a lot. That was, back a lot in of money, that was a lot of money. Uh, what was it, 99, 2000? Sega mm-hmm. net came out in 2000. I th- didn't that start it on the Saturn or was it the Dreamcast? The Dream. Uh-huh. No, well, no. Oh, no, the Dreamcast. Yeah, they had net but, features on the Saturn, but it, it wasn't was 99 on the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast, yeah. Huh. Oh, 99, But they had so much potential to stay in this console market. It's just dumb decisions, man. Yeah, because like it was from both sides. Like you know, Scholar got fired, and oh. that that one president in Japan, of course, he stepped down during the debacle with the Saturn. Mm-hmm. They just totally botched the set. The Saturn is what killed the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Dreamcast didn't rob them, man. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, Plus, I mean, the Dreamcast was too easy to emulate, too easy to power the game. Yeah, uh, Windows. What is it? Um, Windows. Windows, Windows CE. CE. Windows, yeah. Windows CE was just a, a disaster for for for, uh, for Sega. Well, they trusted a company that was that was going, they, yeah, they was that, going to the console market. Hey, here's the thing. I think that's that's another one of my conspiracy theories. Oh, oh uh, yeah, I thought about it too. <laughs> they, they gave him that dog shit <laughs> uh, operating system because they knew it was gonna be so easy to pirate. Yeah, you know, like, that's what they did. They did that on purpose. And then, and then what happened is they oh we'll, we'll take your games, <laughs> Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll take your Sega games. Uh, sorry about the Dreamcast not uh, failing and whatnot, you know, but. Uh, we got a place for your games to come over here. Yeah, Just come on the other your, your, your Xbox. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that seemed really shisty to me. Seemed really yeah, don't trust no big no billion dollar company, man. They uh, were great. They wolves and, and, and sheep clothing, man. Trying to tell people, you. I don't know how Nintendo let that happen, but you know, Sony, the PlayStation happened because of Nintendo, the deal they did, and mm-hmm. it's just like. Backstab. Here's the deal. It was a terrible deal. I don't know how Nintendo. I thought Nintendo was smarter than, especially with deal making in those days. Mm-hmm. Sony had control over all the 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 disc based games yep. that came to the system. So basically, the 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 Sony or the Nintendo PlayStation had it had a cart you know area for Super Nintendo games, but then it also had the disc part um, uh, for 32 bit games. And so, or Sony, somehow you know, they're really savvy. They had really good lawyers, I'm sure. Um, worked it out to where they made basically 99 percent of their profits from everything that was disc based, and uh, that's why Nintendo backed out of the deal. Mm-hmm. And Sony didn't sue them. This is some deep stuff for y'all. Sony didn't sue Nintendo because they could have. Did anybody know why that Sony said no? We're not going to sue them, even mm-hmm. though they, they broke the deal. Anybody know why? Why? Because every Super Nintendo system had a Sony sound chip in it. Uh, and they're like, well, we can't mess with those profits. And that's the only reason Sony didn't sue Nintendo into oblivion uh, after that deal fell through is because uh, the Super Nintendo has Sony sound chips in it. And they didn't want to screw that, that deal up. They didn't screw that money up. No. Uh, so, of course, you know, the, of course, Nintendo backstabs. Hey, Phil. Yeah. yeah, this is mm-hmm. the deal. You know, Nintendo. This- Backstabbed them, but they had to get out of that deal because that was a raw deal. I don't know how they signed the paper for that deal. It was mm-hmm. a terrible deal. It, it was a great deal for Sony. 
It was a terrible yeah, deal. Do wrong. I mean, it was his it was his brainchild, and yeah, heard, you know, he went to his boss about you know about the betrayals, and his yeah, boss he fought hard. I'll give him that. He fought hard for the uh, to get Sony to to say yeah to a uh, video game console. Yeah, because his boss didn't like. He wasn't into. Yeah, yeah. No, Sony wanted into, they wanted nothing to do with video game consoles. Mm-hmm. Him, him yeah. for years. Yeah, and then his boss heard about it. He slammed his fist on the desk. Like, yeah. you know that PlayStation? Go ahead and exactly. make exactly the Nintendo deal falling through is what pissed him off so much that Sony was like, "All right, we'll make our own console." Then and it was like the rest was history. Mm-hmm. Good job, Nintendo. <laughs> he yep. screwed us up. Yeah, created, yeah, you created a monster that's PlayStation. That's I guess the worst enemy. Yep. Yeah. They were they were way more, they were way more worried about Sega at the time than they were Sony. Were like uh, every, all these other guys tried to come up and compete with oh. us, they couldn't. You know, Panasonic came and they went. Um, who else into the market? The Jaguar failed. All this other stuff that yeah. was trying to come out at the time, they, they just died because. Basically, Nintendo and Sega were running the market at the time. Yeah, okay, nobody was even on. worried about Sony. Sega yeah. was obviously. When they saw what Sony was doing with the PlayStation. Yeah, like, that's why he that, acted a fool. Can't have too many consoles in, in this this console market. You we have another crash like we did in the eighties. It was so yeah, back in many, so many gaming consoles. Man, yeah, it wasn't the consoles that was the problem. It was the quality control of the terrible games. Yeah, yeah so many crappy games in the eighties. Yeah, there were a bunch of like, garbage. Which one of those consoles you get to play at another competitor's games? I forgot which one it was. It was a ColecoVision. It was a ColecoVision. Like, what kind of mess was that? That was before all the laws were in place, man. That's yeah, the, uh, yeah. Trust stuff. Yeah. Were, 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 even Nintendo had problems with. Remember Tengen? Yeah. yeah. Remember those black cartridges from Tengen? Yep. The illegal yeah. game. Those games were illegal, and they had to fight. They had to fight in court. Damn. Over that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Two copies of Miss Pac Man, two copies of yeah. R- RBI Ball. Like, yeah. yeah. You know why they did that? They did that because Nintendo had a rule you can only make two games a year or something. Yeah. And five so games some companies years. were like, oh, we, we can make more than that. Why limit our profits? So that's why you had Konami. They went and made Ultra. Remember yeah. Ultra games? The yeah, Ultra the Turtles and Ninja Skater Turtles was, died. Yeah, Ninja, Ninja Turtles was on an Ultra and not Konami. Yeah. So it was uh, Metal Gear. Ninja that was Die Metal also. Gear. Yeah. So they went out and said, all right, <laughs> we'll get around that rule by making a separate company. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why a lot of people still, you know, still pissed off Nintendo because of those, those strict rules they had. Like that that was, uh, that's the, e- the EA type of shit they pulled but, back but in the 80s, the, man. The, 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 yeah, the but thing, here's the thing. They saved the market, but they also they, bullied it at the same they, time. They, yeah. They had to. Like, I understand everybody being mad. They have every right to be mad about what Nintendo did. But at the mm-hmm. time... Nintendo had to do that because, like I said, there was a lot of just terrible garbage out there. Yeah. And that's why you had the Nintendo seal of quality because they wanted to make sure that didn't happen again. So, so but the problem is by the time mm-hmm. they got the Super Nintendo era, they shouldn't have been doing that anymore. At yeah. that point, the, the industry was healthy. They were just At that point, they were just trying to keep Sega down um, with those policies. So. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, yeah, they didn't want Capcom, Konami making games for their system. It's like, right. yeah, look, so do, do y'all think we can this console market? Can, do y'all think there's room for a fourth console? Man, <laughs> all the dog. We, we, all, I don't think so. Tough. But uh, somebody's going to have to suffer. Technically, we we have four consoles. That but that's when Dreamcast died and GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation three came or two came out. Well, Dreamcast wasn't like yeah. Somebody, well, technically, somebody Dreamcast was the first. I think. Yeah. Somebody has to suffer. Yeah. So, I don't think you can do four major consoles. Three is like you're pushing it already with three. Right. Um, but because Microsoft, well, I mean not Microsoft, but at least Sony is very. They're still very distinct because they have their distinct first party. Yeah. Um, and uh, Microsoft, I mean, they do have first party games. They have Halos and Gears and Forza. Um, and then obviously Nintendo has their distinct. So I don't know if you can come in without having a, dis- a distinct first party. Yeah. You can't just come in and be a third party console, I don't think, and make well, it. Didn't, didn't that, um, what generation was the 64 and Saturn? Which, which one was that? Was that fifth? That was sixth gen. Six. Sixth gen, yeah. But didn't they have four or five compet- uh, consoles at that time? Because, uh, of course, you got you got the, the Saturn. No, 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 no
You had the 3DO and all the 3DO was a part of that. The 3DO was a part of that. 3DO, the Atari Jaguar. 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 So Uh, technically, we have five. uh, We have five major conferences that was out. Those are major companies. Neo Geo, Neo Geo, Neo Geo. Oh, Neo. Yeah, we had six. Think about that back then. Yeah, think about it. Neo Geo came out with six hundred dollars back then. But then, but, again, the game was, over but then again, they was making most of their money from the arcades, though. That was a different yeah, era, though. You got to remember, game consoles weren't selling 100 million units yeah. back then. It would sell, you know, if you sold 20 to 30 to 40, you were that's, doing that's really good. Yeah. So, but because now you have consoles that sell 80 million and whatnot, I just, I don't, th- I don't think there's just enough room. No, because... Yeah, we gotta think about the retail. You know, so, like, okay, in that case, if y'all don't think there's enough room, so what happens if Sega comes back? Do you think there's a spot for Sega? I doubt that. You doubt it? So if Sega came back, like with a vengeance, like they came back with their IPs ready to go. They if, could, they, if, they fix, they, if they fix if they fix Sonic, if they fix that series. Uh, that's a big if. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sonic is. Then I don't. Even, I don't even know if they care to fix Sonic at this point because their fans are gonna buy this shit anyway. So that is um, so true. They don't care, man. Uh, I, I. I. I mean, obviously, if you if they say okay, Sonic's only here. They already got a few million people there. Sonic, mm-hmm. if you want to play Sonic on the Sega system, they are gonna bring over a few million people based on that alone. Yeah, but that that, that can't be it. They gotta bring more. They gotta mm-hmm. bring. Some of the more story franchises back and watch them to their console. Yeah, Shenmue. 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 Skies of Arcadia. Because let, 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 let's, of let, let's yeah. be real. JRPGs weren't all that popular back then. That's why we didn't get a lot of those JRPGs from the Saturn to, to, to the States because it wasn't all as popular as it is. No, better. JRPGs were popular. In Japan. That, it was in Japan, though. They were popular here. Well, certain JRPGs were popular here. Um, obviously, Final Fantasy. Well, well, okay, that's Final Fantasy, though. Square, square, square <laughs> RPG, JRPGs were popular here, pretty much. Well, Dragon Quest wasn't. That was more of a Japan. Uh, Dragon thing. Quest wasn't no. Um, but I think they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to bring some solid. It's gonna have to be like early '90s Sega right. on a new console. Well, the reason why I think the reason why I think they do have a spot in this console market because. Of you know not just JRPGs, it's just it's just a lot of old school gamers is uh, showing an interest in gaming again because of the the, the shift in this industry, on on you know the fact that we getting games from every variety, everything that we want, we getting it. Not just 4K realistic games, we get everything. Arcade games, beat 'em up, we get everything. And I'm over thinking about virtual, Sega, virtual reality games. Even. Yeah, we getting everything. I'm over. I'm like, okay, all these beat 'em up games. That's coming out like they'll be perfect for Sega, and what you and look at Sega. These Yakuza games are selling selling good. That that Fist and North Star that game is is, is scoring again uh, really good reviews. People loving that game. Yep. Um, I actually yep. I actually saw the game. That game dude, it, that, that, that game looks awesome, man. You yeah, you played the demo. I didn't play the demo. I was looking at somebody playing it. I was like, man, awesome. I had to go get has, it. Their has exploded. I was like, what the heck is this? What that, that's, how the, that's, how the, that's how the anime was. That, 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 that Fist of North, North Star. Oh, Fist of North Star, yeah. Fist of North, that, that's a crazy anime right there. Man, that's a crazy anime. Yeah, I mean, like, the, I mean, here's the thing. The series oh, is a whole lot better than that awful movie. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, I'm talking about the anime movie, movie not that bullshit yeah, movie, anime movie. movie. Or, yeah, I didn't. I don't want to talk about the live action. So um, the the beat 'em up games, you know, the beat 'em up genre is really it's starting to come back because the Yakuza is proving that Yakuza, that fits the North Star, it's selling well in Japan as I speak. And right. that new game that we saw uh, a few weeks ago, uh, it was a premiere. Uh, I forgot it was Projects Justice. Oh, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, I saw that. So that's a beat 'em up game too, and they got this the creator of the Yakuza series. And that that game looks pretty damn good. Yeah. So if you get Sega to make those type of games, man, there is a fan base for that. That's yeah. a fan base for that. I mean, look at Nintendo. Like mm-hmm. to me, um, legacy wise, in the early '90s, Sega and Nintendo were right here. Both of them were they were, yeah. they were neck and neck. And because yeah. I, I love their IPs equally in those days, like. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's the thing. 
will people today because that's what you're going to need. Like, Nintendo can do it. Nintendo, you know, look at the Switch. It's, you know, it gets a lot of games, mm-hmm. but it leads with the first party stuff. That That's what really yeah, yeah, drives the, the install base, is that for the first party yeah, titles. Yeah, that's what draws the people in, like the Mario's, the Pokemon. Right. Yeah. The so, for in order for Sega to do it, they're going to have to say, yeah, we got a new console. Yeah, all the games, like, everything, you know, and all that stuff. Right. Obviously, it's going to be locked to our console, but we bring about Prince of Dragoon. We bring in you Knights. We bring in you Shinobi. We bring in all this stuff back. That's when they can be like, whoa. That's when that, they can enter right that there. That right there hey, alone. Is still the rights to Bayonetta? That right there alone would yeah, blow up the internet. Bayonetta, yeah. That would blow up the internet, literally. Yeah, that would. That's, how, that's the only way I can see them coming back. They can't just come back with the games that they have now on all the consoles yeah. they got to bring back stuff like that's gonna be like oh i can't not i can't not buy that console you know i have mm-hmm. to buy that yeah that's that's true they have the ips that's the only company that i think that that has a shot to come back into the console market because yeah. they have well-known beloved ips and like if a billion dollar company like google come in the console market what what do they have to offer us as far as games you, you know what I would do if I was Sega? I would wait until whenever this so-called stream generation of gaming is going to start. Uh-huh. Like, you know, because, you know, they say after PS5 and Xbox Scarlet or whatever, it's all going to be on the streaming box or whatever. That's when I would drop my Sega console. And we could, you're going to have people like us yeah. like that yep. we still want traditional consoles, but we're yeah. going to always want traditional consoles. So that's when I think Sega would have an opportunity to seize like a console, you know, market. Yep, that's true. Like when we were talking about a while ago, they have the genres. And, right. They, they and, have the and when we were talking about JRPGs, they have the best JRPGs, like Shining Force, Fantasy Star, uh uh they had more variety than Nintendo. Guys of Arcadia and Sega we, first party. We, we can't forget they own the rights to the Shig Shig uh Shimmy. Yeah, what's the call? Shin- 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 I, 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 yeah, Shimigami Tensei. Yeah, they, they own they, uh, have, they have that. So they own Atlas, per- yeah. Persona 6 can be exclusive to the new Sega console. Yeah, those are big things that would definitely make people be like, dang, I gotta buy, you know, and people want to, who, I mean, everybody wants a, a new Sega console. Who doesn't want to? Yeah, and Yakuza started to become a household name in, 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 in the US because a lot of people love uh, Yakuza over here. Yeah. I love Yakuza. Yep. Like, Yakuza yep. Zero yep. was my first. Yakuza Zero was my first Yakuza game, and I love every bit of that game. A new fantasy star? I mean, come on, man. They have it. They got it. it it's just, it's just, they just did stupid shit, man. That I'm just saying, if they came out with a new fantasy star for this new console, like that would be and, a lot. If they bring back, and, and if they bring back Sega Sports. Yeah, I can't forget that. Oh yeah, Sega Sports. But the problem with Sega Sports is that it's 2K now. <laughs> 2K owns Sega Sports. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. yeah so. Like bring back Vector Man and all that. Like, shoot. like they had the potential to be the top dogs. It's just they just did stupid stuff, man. Well, variety wise, first party, first party to first party. Variety wise, Sega smoked Nintendo. Yeah. Like, it's the, as far as right, I'm saying made. quality. But I'm saying, like, variety and genres, mm-hmm. Sega destroyed. That's why, you know, they almost you know, overtook the American market. Well, if you ask me, when you're when you talking about quality, the Dreamcast had a, a lot of good quality games. Oh, no, I'm saying they, they had, I'm not yeah. saying they didn't have quality. I'm just saying, I'm, when I say quality, I mean, like, industry changing. Oh, type oh games. okay, I got you, I got yeah, you. That's what I mean. Quality, yeah, Sega quality was top notch. Their games were well, t- well t- that, that Dreamcast was industry changing. It was very innovative. Well, th- their Sega Genesis games were great. Their yeah, yeah, because I mean, yeah, think about it. Industry. Yeah, because I mean, think about the Genesis. What was it marketed to? You know, college kids, young adults, teens, and uh, young adults. Yeah, that was yeah, the cool. I mean, they were talking like all oh, Nintendo's all kiddie stuff. It's like mm-hmm. we want some kiddie games. Like we want some growing up games. Remember like, all, yeah. those commercials where they had shot Sonic's just zooming all over the screen, and they oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had, like, this old, they had like this old truck like putting down the road with uh, Super Mario World playing on the TV on the back of it. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> the funny thing is when people talk about the console wars and how ruthless everybody was, you know, nobody was really ruthless. Nintendo was never really ruthless when it came to their marketing. It was it was Sega and, and, and Sony. Play, yeah, Sony. Yeah. Sony. They were Sony ruthless too. towards Nintendo, but Nintendo never really like tried to go Italian. at them uh, on marketing wise. Mm-hmm. So it was really mostly one sided as far as you know, Sega attacking Nintendo with Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Genesis well, does with Nintendo. Well, well technically yeah. Nintendo is is kind of uh with the whole cross play when they teamed up on Sony, uh Microsoft and Nintendo. Yeah, I mean that that's probably the most like in your face they've been. Yeah. That's yeah, that's all I could think of. And that's really recent, you know. That's mm-hmm. I, I mean there's some stuff like I remember like uh, some promotional videos like the the um the, the Star Fox 64 promotional video. Uh, they had they had a dude in a Sega a Sony shirt and they had a dude in a um, Sega shirt. Yeah. It's like, oh, come check this this, and it had they were like gushing over Star Fox. So that that was just that was a that was a, the most hardcore they got, and that was pretty cheesy. Mm. So, Okay. I can talk about this shit forever, man. Oh uh, yeah, we can. <laughs> you might want to cut. You yeah. cut me off, man. <laughs> no, we we about to end this because I I, I got to call my call my boss. He just called me a while ago, so I, we about to end this bad boy in a minute. So I guess uh you know you know we we had a good show. I think we I think we approached the two hour mark. So I don't I want I want to I want to get into the fuck board hour. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, we had we had a good show for for three people. We talked a lot of lot of stuff, you know. Talked about some some Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch Online, the cloud savings, the PS4, Sony finally want to do cross play, and um, man, it's another subject. I just I forgot what it was. It was another subject I forgot. What's that you got? <laughs> What's that? Can, can you see? Oh, it? Robocop. Oh, nice. Yeah. Robocop versus Terminator. Yep. Oh, I loved it on the Genesis. The Genesis version is better. Oh, yeah. okay. I, got you, I got you. Yeah. But I, I like this case. That, what is your, where's your Genesis and Super Nintendo collection at? Uh, they're over here in the drawer. Oh, in the drawer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't have, okay. I don't have them displayed like I have my newer stuff because it's easy to display. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah I, I have like maybe 50 Genesis games and uh, 60 or so Super Nintendo. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Too crazy, yeah. It ain't, it, it ain't, it ain't Metal Jesus crazy, huh? Nah, nah, nah I can't. I can't, that can't, dude, I can't touch that dude. Oh, uh, Radical that. Reggie. I wouldn't even try to touch those guys. Those guys go out every week and buy like a hundred games. Right? <laughs> yeah. they, they, they got money, man. They got money. Well, they, got, they got a huge following. They got like a half a million right. subscribers. Though. Yeah, up in yeah. Seattle. Shoot. Yeah, 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 Seattle like a huge gaming area. So yeah, people. Trading mm-hmm. and getting rid of this stuff all the time. So yeah, because like the game chases, they're based in uh, Texas. Yeah, there was a retro palooza that 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 went on in Arlington um, this weekend, and I wanted to go, but I I went ahead and, and you know went to work. So it is what it is, man. But I'm I'm gonna go next year. The reason what the reason why I, I didn't you know I could have went, but the reason why I'm I'm gonna wait to next year. Because I'm trying, I'm trying to up my game. Because I, I'm not trying to, I ain't trying to go to that place. You know, they looking at my little collection. They got laughing me and shit. They got laughing. <laughs> well, you, got, you got to start somewhere, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah you're, I, you're basically just getting started. Well, in the last year or so. Well, last year I took like a six to seven month break. Yeah, uh, of collecting stuff. But these past couple of two to three months, I I've been you know getting like on average probably. Uh, between four to five retro games per week, yeah, something like that. Uh, but uh, you know, um, it's gonna get better, you know, because um, of course I'm getting paid more money, and of course, um, you know, of course, you know, I got some, some, I'm about to pay off some bills and get that um, house, man. Get you know, house. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a house as well too. That, that's my main problem. That's my on your on your uh. On your collection too. Oh yeah, yeah. I got insurance on my collection. Okay. You know, no, nah, you know, it's it's some some stuff. I'm trying, I'm saving up some money for my house, and of course, I'm about to pay off my furniture uh, set and my my bed my bedroom my bedroom set. Uh, you know, shoot, two thousand dollars for that shit. Yeah. Okay. I've been I've been paying about four 
four hundred dollars a month for that. It's like a, it's like I'm paying a car note. Uh, for my furniture, I'm about to pay that off. Red here in Kentucky. I'm about to pay it off next week. So yeah, that's that's extra four dollars a month in my pocket. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna you know, get some get some more stuff. It'll be like my boy. I remember back in the day, uh, he wanted to say good Saturn. Mm-hmm. Um and uh he went to he went to Rena Center or something. Oh no, don't <laughs> no you be paying more than what it's worth. Hey, don't pay like seven hundred dollars when it's I all tell over. everybody don't go to those places, man. They will eat yeah. you alive. But it's only ten dollars down and I can take it home. All right. You paying for that yeah. for Let all those interest charges and you know, eat you up. Yeah. Man, they worse than the loan shorts, man. <laughs> so he was paying for it. He was paying for that Saturn like two years. After the Saturn was dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, dang, bro. Yeah, I know he feels stupid after that. It was 1998, and he was still playing, paying that Saturn off. I'm like, God. Jesus Christ. Uh, Dreamcast was already launched in, in Japan Dreamcast, at that time. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. Any fi- final, final thoughts, intakes uh, before we end the stream? Uh, any, any videos, upcoming videos you're going to do? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work on the uh, get some gameplay for Forza Horizon Four, and, and probably some uh, Fist of the North Star. I'll probably do that on my day off. Oh, you got that game? Cool. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I still haven't got Spider Man yet, dude. I've been so I mean, busy. I mean, you'll enjoy it because I mean, I, I've been you know uh, I've been playing it in spurts about it because you know I yeah. I don't want to you know be one of those guys just rush it just to beat it and just to move on to something else. But you know I'm taking yeah, my yeah. time with it. Okay. What about you, T? What about you, T? Uh, any any Nintendo drones you're gonna going to expose on your channel? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I have. I'm not I'm not even lying. I have three. I have two videos in the pipe. That, oh, okay, okay. That, that's just sitting there. That if I keep getting pissed off, <laughs> like I'm just gonna put them out there. Like I'm trying not to do that stuff. Um, I'm trying. I'm a giant. I'm trying to sleep. And they keep yeah, trying to wake yeah. me up. Um, uh-huh. but I do have I have one really raw video on a, oh, on a certain YouTuber. R-A-W. <laughs> yeah, on a certain YouTuber. I'm trying to stay with that stuff, you know. So a certain YouTube. I think I know I'm what it gonna, is. I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> you might know. I'm just gonna keep it in my uh, you know, in my my bank, my vault until I, like I get Stephen, forced just to put it just out. In case, just in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I have a lot of stuff. In the pipe, I, I I think I recorded like three videos or something. Oh damn! Um, talking about like upcoming games, I'm excited for mm-hmm. and, uh, just a bunch of different stuff. So yeah, just stay tuned this weekend. You'll see some stuff. Okay, cool, cool. I, as far as me, man, like I like I said, I'm really trying to uh, get more content out for y'all guys. It's just it's just my work schedule that's keeping me from doing this. But you know, so like you know, stop being lazy. I would do more content, but um sometime next year in the springtime i will be in t- in a house i will have an extra bedroom that way i will have everything already preset i don't need to move nothing everything will be set and it will make it will be so much easier for me to make videos and you know like i said i'm not i'm using my son's room so i gotta move stuff around it, it, it's that stuff taking a toll on me. It's, it's too much so whenever i do get my house sometime next year i'm hoping next six months uh, six to maybe eight months. And so whenever I get my new house, y'all expect more content coming from me. And when I say more content, I will. I'm gonna I'm be a very serious about my YouTube channel. And uh, you know, like I say, I'm a, I want to grow just like everybody else uh, want to grow. It's just right now, I'm, you know, just doing take care of my business at work, trying to uh, learn my new position as uh, I guess you could say boss boss man. So you know, it, you know, I got a little, I got some stuff going on. Uh, you know. At work, but like I say, I do want to grow more, and by me growing more, I have to be consistent, and that's that's my problem. I'm not being consistent, uh, so it will get better, people. And just hang in there, be patient, pretty please. And I guess after that, I guess uh, appreciate y'all guys from coming, uh, checking us out. Uh, make sure y'all y'all watch that first part, and and once again, uh, Google is really keep messing up my dang on streams and. I'm not even using Uh-oh. OBS this time. I'm using, I'm just on the regular Google Hangout and this happens again. So y'all make sure y'all watch that first part of, of this of this podcast. You know, it was pretty interesting. It was just only us three tonight. 
Uh, like I said a while ago, Alex went to Hawaii. Uh, Nick, Nick, uh, he he just about about at the last minute, and Retro Bro, he had to work late. So uh, hopefully next week we should have all the all the gang back, and we can do a regular episodes and get back to regular schedule. And I guess after that, let's get our outros out the way. Starting with you, Sinister. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your main man, Sinister. Yeah, it's cool. You know, I mean, you know, I've been absent, but I'm back. You know, hope you know we can do this on a regular you know schedule and everything. So. But just keep it gaming. All right. Go with your team. Hey, folks. T here. Another great podcast. Had a great time. Good discussions. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, folks. All right. Appreciate you, uh, Mr. T. And and uh, like I say, people, I want to keep doing this on a consistent basis because I'm, I'm, I am I'm miss having those those decent views. We used to have almost 100 people watching. And I want to get back to that, you know. In order for me to do that, I have to stay consistent. And if I don't come, if I don't do a podcast next week, I will do two podcasts the week after. I promise, I will do that. If I miss next week, you know what that means. I will do a podcast next week. I don't want to do no goddamn two podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, expect us back next week, same time. We will have the same cast and crew here, plus the other guys I missed. And I guess after that, we will see y'all the next ride. Peace out. Nora.